Hey everyone, good morning, assalamu alaikum. Um, I'm going to explain the end of time. So the end of the universe. And I'm going to link this to a few verses in the Quran. Okay? Um, this theory is called the Big Crunch. So the contrary of the Big Bang, the creation of the universe. This theory explains the end of the universe. Okay? Um, so the short explanation is that the universe is going to get sucked into a black hole because the gravitational force of a black hole is stronger than the expanding force of the universe. So if you don't have time, then leave it there. But if you want to know why, then keep listening, okay? So first, a few basics. At the creation of the universe, there was only energy. Energy is invisible. But energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only change form. So the total amount of energy that exists is constant, okay? And we believe that this energy existed before the creation of the universe. The creation of the universe is also the creation of space and time. So before the universe, there was literally... Nothing. Not even time. I know it's hard to grasp, but it is like that. Okay, so we can't understand this because it's not physical. Okay, this is like another dimension or like spiritual or we simply don't know. Okay, but it was at least not physical. Nothing that we know. Okay, so energy. Okay, energy. Once it burst into space and this energy cooled down in temperature, that is when matter was created. So planets and everything that we know. Okay? And what happens in a black hole? How does matter disappear in a black hole? Well, a black hole is created when a star implodes. Okay? But gravity, like Newton said, gravity depends on mass. But now we know energy equals mass, so gravity really depends on energy. So when a star implodes, the matter of the star, I mean the fire and all of it, doesn't exist any longer, but the energy remains there. So the gravity remains there as well, okay? So the gravity pulls things towards it, the surroundings towards it, okay? But then how does matter disappear into a black hole? It's because of temperature, the temperature of the gas around the black hole, which is estimated at around 19 million degrees Celsius, okay? So literally all the matter that gets sucked into the gravity of the black hole is evaporated in this high temperature gas and the black hole itself, so actually between the gas and the black hole, which is called the event horizon, that's the point where gravity is stronger than the speed of light. So not even light can exist beyond that point, okay? And to the point of gravity, the point of singularity, is actually like the contrary of the creation of the universe. So from nothing to something, the point of singularity is the point where everything turns to zero and even space-time, the concept that we know, goes to, to nothing. Like, we can't we don't really know what that is, but it, it's not physical, okay? So, a black hole is pretty much the contrary of the Big Bang. But then why is the universe not sucked into a black hole right now? Because the expansion of the universe is happening faster than the speed of light. And before you say... Hmm. But I heard that nothing is faster than light. 
Yes, that's correct for as far as we know. Nothing is faster than the speed of light, but into space. Okay? So you need to have a distance to determine speed. So nothing is faster than light in space. But it is the space itself that is expanding faster than light. Okay? So that is why we are not sucked into a black hole right now. But the theory says that the expansion is going to slow down. So right now it's happening faster than the speed of light. But it's going to slow down in expanding speed. And at the point, at a certain point, the gravity of a black hole will be stronger than the expansion force, you know. And that is when all the gravity of the universe is going to literally collapse and all matter that gets sucked into a black hole will only feed the strength of the gravity. So that is when the entire universe gets sucked into a black hole and it turns into nothing again. So that's the theory. But now to the Quran, because in chapter 81 starts with when the sun is rolled up, when the stars are dimmed, which is a funny coincidence because of the star that dim is that that creates the black hole. And a few verses later, when the fire is set ablaze, so literally everything turns to fire. So when, it, when, when the universe is sucked into the high temperature gas around the black hole, everything will go to fire. That's, that is the light of the black hole is, is fire. And then it goes further into the gravity of the black hole to the point of nothing. So it's actually really funny that the end of time is explained in this way. The same as the theory of the big crunch in science. Um, so that's it for today. But that's not going to happen any day soon. As to what scientists say, so don't worry. I mean, it's probably not going to happen in our lifetime. So, But we don't know. Only God knows. So, um, so that's that for today. Hope you have a nice day. It's a heavy start of the week. The end of time on a Monday morning. But yeah. <laughs> If you want more content like this, then follow me. Okay, bye.